Today on The Wolf, today's forecast, what's for lunch, and positive referrals. Now, from Studio 209, you are watching WVMS News, The Wolf. Good morning. My name is Sawyer Yates, here to bring you some sweet announcements. But first, let's toss it over to Alexander in the newsroom. September 11th, often called 9-11, is a significant day in American history. On September 11, 2001, a group of terrorists carried out terrible attacks in the United States. They hijacked airplanes and used them to target important places like New York City and Washington, D.C. These attacks caused a lot of damage and resulted in the loss of many lives. It was a tragic event that led to a big effort by the United States to fight terrorism and make the country safer. Please pause for a moment of silence in memoriam for those who lost their lives on 9-11. Thank you. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance presented by some seventh grade teachers. Please stand, Please stand for, the for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's weather is going to be a nice 84 degrees with partial clouds in the area. Now let's check out our weekly forecast with Ben. Hey y'all, I'm Ben Roberts. Welcome to the weekly weather for September 11th to September 15th. So this week on Monday, it's going to be sunny with highs in the low 80s. And then on Tuesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with highs still in the low 80s. But then we're going to go to Wednesday and have some rain and go down to the mid 70s. But then on Thursday and Friday, we're going to have some, par some partly cloudy going down into the low 70s. Thank you for joining me, and now back to the studio. Thanks, Ben. For lunch, we have cheese or pepperoni pizza, chicken and waffle sandwich, uncrustable PB&J with Cheez-Its and a cheese stick. The following sides for today are mashed potatoes, corn, garden salad, and baby carrots. That's all for lunch. Teens for Christ will be starting tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. in the lecture hall. Are you interested in joining the D&D &D club? The first meeting is this Wednesday in the library from 3.45 to 5 p.m. Stop by the library to pick up a permission form. Students' counsel counseling is back in action. The board members have already been chosen, but this week each homeroom will need to choose a representative Bring a home, being a homeroom representative is a big responsibility. These students will need to acquire a written recommendation from their teachers and permission from, from their parents to be able to attend regular meetings after school. Students who are interested attain forms from either Mrs. DeAngelis or Mr. Yu in the eighth grade hallway. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, over to Alexander for positive referrals. Hey West Valley, I'm Alexander Hunt here with your weekly positive referrals. All students who received a positive referral this week can pick up their prize in the Student Support Center immediately after today's announcements conclude. First, let's see who got a positive referral in sixth grade. Take a moment to try and find your name. Joshua Bowman. He received a positive referral for excellence. Joshua's teacher wrote, Joshua displays packed pride in all areas. 
He comes to class each day with a positive attitude, ready to work, and a bright smile on his face. He is respectful to teachers and fellow students with active listening and polite responses. Joshua is dedicated to completing his assignments in a timely manner and takes pride in the appearance of his work. This young man is definitely on the right track to success. Congrats, Joshua. And now for the seventh graders. Take a moment and see if you received a positive referral this week. Seventh grade winner is Cannon Sight. He received a positive referral for positivity, respect, and dedication. His teacher wrote, Cannon is doing an exceptional job in math class. He is polite and respectful to students and teachers. He is a leader in fourth period and does a great job asking tough, clarifying questions. I'm excited to see his growth and success this year. Congrats to Cannon. And last but not least, 8th grade. Take a moment and see if you were lucky enough to receive a positive referral this week. And for our 8th grade winner is Henry Rice. He received a positive referral for dedication. His referral says... Thank you for your willingness to support and promote the activities of the library every day. Congrats, Henry. Congrats to those who received a positive referral. And as always, thank you for showing Pack Pride. Again, if your name was listed to receive a positive referral, you can pick up your prize in the Student Support Center directly after the announcements conclude. Thank you, and now back to the studio. Congratulations to everyone for your Pack Pride. And now for the joke of the day. Want to know why I always knock on the fridge? Because there might be a salad dressing. The mission of the West Valley Middle School community is to inspire students to be resourceful, respectful, and responsible citizens while providing a challenging and safe learning environment. I hope all of you have an amazing day. And go Wolves! Ah!